And then it takes us to number one. Fukushima happened, what, 10 months ago. And uh, we told you day one there were huge explosions, total meltdowns at many of the, of the different uh, six plants there at Fukushima. Turns out five of the six did blow up and melt down. And it's still belching out radiation. But the government just raised the radiation levels and says that it's all safe now. And up in Alaska, we've got seals dying from radiation poisoning. Uh, that's all in the uh, news. And uh, it took about eight, nine months, but most of that of the tsunami washed away houses covered with radiation from that area of Japan have now hitting the West Coast, and people are reportedly getting radiation sickness. Kids are dying, and others uh, in um, dying in the schoolyards, dropping dead from heart attacks from radiation, damaging their heart muscle. We've had top scientists talking about how it infects the heart with the, with the chemicals and, and the radiation and finally kills them. All that's going on, but the trendy media waves a magic trendy wand. And why I call it a trendy wand is it, it's just as if it's an establishment person reading off a teleprompter with their little outfit done just right, shaking, you know, like a starving chihuahua, like one of the info babes on, on Fox News who's anorexic but wants to look good for the camera. Um, you know, I mean, if they say radiation is good for you, yeah, half of Americans would drink it down. But the good news is the world isn't run by cattle. It's not run by people who don't care. It's not run by people who will buy any lie they're told. It's run by people that get involved. And that means the evil people that get involved and the good people. And it's always a contest between minorities on both ends of the spectrum, the good and the bad. The Japanese government's nationwide nuclear monitoring system failed to provide data for at least 24 hours before being restored. What the fuck? The emergency response and support system monitors pressure, temperature, and other real-time conditions of reactors at nuclear power plants across the country. It predicts future reactor conditions based on the data. The system also watches radiation exposure in surrounding areas. The government says its investigation discovered that the system was not transmitting any data for reasons unknown. What the fuck? The system was restored without incident on Saturday afternoon. The agency says it is looking into the cause of the problem and how long the system was out of operation. We also predict, I also predict, on, uh, as a result of this ECRR model, that there will be significant increases in infertility in Japan as a result of this accident and this is quite terrible and in, any, in many ways it's more terrible than the cancer in adults because it's, it, it's destroying children who, who could have been born but now will not be born and some of those who are going to be born from our studies in the Middle East will have horrifying deformities and, and will obviously in an advanced uh, country like Japan will be aborted. 2011 saw the fewest number of newborns in Japan since the end of World War II. The decline in the country's population is accelerating. The health ministry estimates that 1,057,000 babies were born in 2011. That's a drop of about 14,000 from the previous year. The number of deaths in 2011 was estimated at 1,261,000. That's up around 64,000 due to the aging population and the March disaster. Clinically, clinically aborted before they get born, so the, the birth rate will fall. As a result, the number of deaths has exceeded births for the fifth year in a row. The difference stood at 204,000 in 2011, topping 200,000 for the first time. The ministry says Japan's population is expected to continue shrinking as the nation is seeing an increasingly graying society coupled with a low birth rate. Japan's agriculture ministry says only 20% of the farmland devastated by the March 11th tsunami could be restored before the planting season next spring. That's the point. And, and you have to remember that Fukushima contains probably 2,000 tons of uranium. 2,000 tons. Chernobyl had 200 tons, and 50 tons of it exploded. So some 20,500 hectares of rice paddies and fields in the northeastern prefectures of Iwate, Miyagi, and Fukushima were damaged by sludge and salt carried in by the tsunami. The ministry says that by the spring of next year, removal of sludge and salt would be finished for about 4,300 hectares, or 20 percent, of the damaged farmland. The ministry plans to complete restoration of all farmland in the disaster-hit areas in about three more years, except for that in the no-entry zone around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. 
Japanese Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda has pledged the government will substantially speed up reconstruction efforts from the March 11th disaster under a new agency to be sent up to oversee the rebuilding work. Noda made the comment in his New Year's statement released on Sunday. He also pledged to get the diet to enact legislation needed to raise the consumption tax. Noda said future generations entrust people now with maintaining fiscal discipline and protecting national trust. He vowed to formulate the specifics of the tax and welfare systems reform. Noda added that the government will accelerate talks with countries involved in negotiations for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Agreement.